Hi guys, Chris from JNS again. Um, wanted to do a little bit of a different video today. I wanted to give you a little bit of inside information into a motorcycle clothing retailer and our own products. Now, JNS have had their own product for, a, for years and years and years, but our biggest name just lately is the Frank Thomas brand. Um, and of course, Frank Thomas is synonymous with motorcycle clothing, uh, British motorcycle clothing. Uh, for a number of years and we were so fortunate to get hold of that that brand and that label um, and and now because we produced the Frank Thomas product itself it is our own product but a lot of people think oh we, we, there's a manufacturer comes to us that there's a whole range of product there and we just pick the ones we like that that we like the designs of personally etc etc and there is an element of that but the production the, the, the prototype products um, are, are good and they're there, but a lot of the time, you know, you need to make your own changes and, and uh, the, the product is passed around from the, the buyers see it and they've got an idea what sells, they've got an idea of, of how it looks, but will it work? And then, you know, we get the chance, the guys on the shop floor, the guys that have got bikes throughout the, throughout the company, and a lot of guys do ride bikes as well. There are a lot of guys that don't ride bikes for the company, but a lot of us do. I'm one of them, and I was lucky enough to get um, given a pair of the prototype uh, Frank Thomas Raptor gloves. Um, so what I'm going to do is just explain to you the development of this and where it went. I've had these gloves back in November 2019 um, when I first went to Portimao and I've been using them ever since and then we actually got the Raptor glove into stock once we changed it a few times um, just a couple of months ago. So what I'm going to do is focus on the, on the product itself, I'm going to show you my original prototype and just talk you through the changes that were made and why we made them etc. Just so that you've got an idea of what effort goes into us producing these, this clothing we want to retail to you. Um, obviously it needs to be protective, it needs to be, have a, be a nice design, needs to fit well. So we don't just choose something and randomly throw it out there. We do take a really good look at it and we make a number of changes to it before we get to that final product. So this might give you a little bit of an idea just in these gloves and what we did with these gloves. Okay, so the Frank Thomas Raptor glove, our top spec racing glove that we've wanted to develop for a number of years and this is what we came up with. Um, that was the, the sample pair that I got. This is a prototype. Um, they, they produced for us, the, manu the manufacturers produced for us a number of different colours uh, with different spec as well. Um, one, one of these, the, the red one came and it doesn't have the aramid inlay um, and it, it's, it's, um, it doesn't have um, uh, the Kevlar, the uh, kangaroo palm as well. Um, so they gave us lots of options and, and lots of different ones to go with. So, but I was given those two. They never produce a pair either. They just give you single gloves. Fortunately, there was a, a right and a left, and they're a standard size large, which fortunately I am. So that fitted quite well. Um, but showing you here, obviously I've got the, the production one here, the actual, the actual product that we've received at the end, and this is the prototype, the one I've been wearing. Now, as I said, I got this back in October, and I was at Portimao in November 2019, where I was, first of all, just there to try them out, basically. Now, I normally wear um, a great branded glove, whether it be uh, Alpine Star, I've also got a Danese, um, I've had a, a Ola Ness in the past as well. Gloves are a really individual fit, they're a really indiv individual thing. I find some Alpine Star gloves don't fit me very well and some fit me brilliantly. Same with Danese and across the board. And when you come into the store and you come in and, and you see the range of gloves we've got and you'll ask us for advice, but nine times out of 10, we can point you in the right direction, but it is a case of trial and error, putting the glove on, trying it on, gripping a handlebar, seeing what it feels like. Um, and then once you get there and you spend a bit of time doing that, then you get to where you're going. Now with these, um, this was the this was one of the the, the uh, this was the prototype glove that I had, and you can see it had the traditional colouring kangaroo palm on it, um, which we didn't go for in the end. But um, I I put it on, and I thought oh, that's a great fit straight away. It's you know it's a great size, um, and fastened it up and thought yeah that's that's quite a good glove that. That's all right, look at the way it works and, and the way it feels on. I mean, it feels so much better now because I've been wearing it for over a year. But um, 
it, uh, initially, it was just a really good fit. Um, which, to be honest with you, this one, this one is as well. And I noticed this as soon as I, I, I got them off the, uh, got them out of the box when they arrived from the warehouse uh, a month or so ago. Um, the the production Raptor glove. Um, popping it on. Again, it's got the same wrist strap adjustment and a nice little flap there which just conceals that strap so that if you do take a tumble if you're on the track or on the road if you do take a tumble it covers that strap and it secures it because you don't want that to be bare and open because it might just pull pull the undo the strap and then pull the glove off if you're not careful so they they always cover it with a flap over the top there fastening the cuff up there as well so what we did we went for the gray color this is a little bit, I mean, it is the traditional colour, and you'll have seen gloves like this before with a kangaroo palm. And it's a big shout out, oh, that's kangaroo palm. But it's not, as you can see, it doesn't wear quite so well. It gets dirty pretty quick. Um, but um, uh, we went, decided to go for the, decided to go for the grey colour, just so that it looks a little bit nicer and it doesn't look, go quite as dirty quite so quick, really. And then we also found that the, the grey colour suited every other colour that we do, because there's a number of different colours. Um, in the in the uh, in the Raptor glove that we produce, um, but point on that feels just the same. It feels identical. The the length in the fingers, the the length um, across the palm, and the width around the wrist. It just feels exactly the same. And this this was produced for me over a year ago, and this one is the actual sample one. Now sometimes you get a, a massive difference in variation of how that how that glove feels and how the, what the size is like but these are absolutely identical and feel just the same which is great and you know sometimes you'll you will get that variance and it's really annoying because it feels nothing like the the product that you tried a few months ago that you were expecting to be perfect um, we changed a couple of things as I said before we changed the color of the palm we still use this reinforcement here on the um, this protection and and wear for the grip which we've uh, we've kept that and to be honest with you looking at mine it's wearing really well there's a little bit around the throttle and this is the throttle grip there's a little bit of wear there but not too much now on this glove I've done three days Portimao four days on Maria in January four days on Maria in February um, then I've done half a dozen half a dozen UK track days as well so it's had a bit of stick and I've had these on every time just because they feel great and I don't want to wear any other glove you know when you get to where you're going and you got you're on your bike you don't want to feel the product that you've got on you don't want to think oh I've got that on but it's digging in a little bit I want to forget I've got it on I want to put it on and forget and that's what I do with these the, the, the lovely um, we, we also changed a couple of things on the, on the protection wise. This was the standard protector here with a nice soft foam and that works really well. Doesn't get in the way of the, um, the throttle at all when you're gripping it, you don't feel it anywhere. But if you do take a tumble and you put that piece down, that's there to protect you there on the base, um, at the, the ball of the palm, if you like. Um, and we, we decided to use a, a carbon look protector inside there instead of just the standard plastic one. It just looks a little bit nicer. Um, also, we've got an Aramid um, material sewn into this uh, overlay of leather. So that's an overlay over the top and they use a protective Aramid material that sits underneath here. And you can see it on the edge of mine, what they have to do with it, because it frays really easily. They have to really uh, stitch it in so that it, it, there's plenty of overhang in it. Otherwise, it's easy, easy to slip inside this before. And so what they do is they make sure they get it right to the edge otherwise you're going to lose it in there and it, it won't work correctly so you will get this fraying and some people come to us and say well this isn't quite right look you've got a bit of material hanging out there well there's a reason for that sir and that's because of this and this is how it works um, so that's uh, inlaid inside that panel there as well to give you that extra protection um, the cuffs are very similar uh, the cuff fasteners are just the same as well and that's that's great around your suit fits just just brilliant for me um, the padding on the back of the wrist as well uh, looking at the back of the hand um, again this was the uh, uh, all we did was change the colorway a little bit there's a little there's there's some more white on this and there's less white on here we just thought the white and the green that sort of colorway was looking better it was a little bit more modern and it suited the gray as well but it's it's personal choice really um, this overlay on the knuckle as well this protector great protector um, 
and uh, it, it's open at the back as you can see so you can make a fist without too much of a problem. Nice and comfortable, really padded. You can't feel it's there. Honestly, you cannot feel it's there. But this material in here is called a uh, super fabric. Now this is the black knuckle protector here, those four black knuckle protectors. It's on here as well, uh, indentated with, a, with, a, with little pinpricks. Now that's a super fabric. Now th the way that works is that the rest of the protector is PU and there's PU within that and then super fabric goes on over the top of that. Um, and again, it's just to add extra, extra protection and to get a much nicer look, a much classier look. Uh, from a PU uh, plastic, if you like, protector, um, and that's 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 a great that's a great product there in there as well. And it, you, to the touch, it feels really soft as well. It's it's a little bit different. Um, on the back, now I felt this. For me, that you'll see on the back, just behind the knuckle, that I've got this big plastic protector here, PU protector, and we haven't got it on the new one. Um, the difference is basically we've, we've inlaid this, this lighter pad here, um, still got the stretch panel like that one there, but for me, sometimes when I was pulling that back, I don't know if you'll see it, but when I was pulling it back on the, on the wrist there, you can just feel that a little bit. And I wasn't too sure really what it was there for because it's not a particularly vulnerable place on the, on the hand, but it's quite solid. And I could just feel it there a little bit. And I thought, we looked at it and thought, is that the right way to go with it? Um, and it's the same on the red one as well. It's, it's, it's got the harder plastic there. Um, and in the end, we decided to go for this padding on the basis that it just feels that much comfier. And if you, you're moving your wrists back and two, you don't get that sort of, you can just feel it there only slightly, but it, we wanted it to be perfect. So we thought, no, we'll, we'll change that. We'll take that off and we'll, we'll see what alternatives we've got. And we came up with this one. This one seemed to be the best one. Um, the uh, cuff protector is just the same as well, fastens in the same way, um, and yeah, uh, what a great glove. Um, the, the concertina type uh, flex uh, material as well on the thumbs um, works really well, you know, it's just, it's so light and comfortable, even though it f you feel sort of safe and secure and it's quite a heavyweight glove, it feels like a heavyweight glove, but it's ultra light. Um, and it's ultra flexible and fits so well. Um, but yeah, so those were the differences we've made, and that was the original one, and this, and, and this was the one um, sort of seven, eight months later that we produced, we thought, right, we're gonna roll with this, it's finally okay. So just, you guys, just so that you guys get an idea of what we've gone into, it has taken us a little while to produce it, back and two, sending samples back and two to, um, uh, to the manufacturer and um, just trying it out and testing it and seeing what was different and that's what went on. Uh, just so that you guys have got an idea, but we're very proud of this glove. We think it's a great glove. You may be aware that we sponsor a lot of the BSB guys as well and a majority of them are wearing this glove as well um, and they love it as well. They're really impressed with it. Um, but if you want to see uh, the, this, the, the Raptor in more detail, I've gone over some bits and pieces on it, but Adrian did a video uh, earlier when we first got it in and he goes through absolutely everything with it. So we're going to put a link on the, um, on the video for that so you can see it. Um, and also there's a couple of stills that Steve's going to put on the video. He's probably, you've probably seen them already, he's probably flashed them up, just showing, showing me wearing, actually wearing these gloves, you'll, you'll recognise them. One's green, one's red. Fortunately I've got a red and green suit so it matches okay. But um, yeah, if I get a pair, I've got to buy a, two pairs, one green and one red for it to match right now because so, I've set a precedent. Um, but yes, yeah, so just so you've got an idea of, of what goes into producing a piece of motorcycle clothing for JNS and Frank Thomas, this is the th sort of thing that goes on. Uh, so I hope you got something from that and you understand and appreciate where we're coming from and how we want to produce a product that's perfect for you guys out there. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.